Hello YouTube model community. Welcome to Morse Custom Model Shop. James Morris here saying God bless all here. This is an edition of the old pro show. I'm going to do a little scratch build and show you how I do it. Uh, I will go through this and then I put up, I'm going to put up a slideshow after each step and put captions on the pictures to show you what I do at each step. But I start with a styrene rod which most of the time to get one this size you have to go to the sprue on a, on a kit uh, this is 0 0.20 inches uh, I've got a caliper here and I, I, I measure to make sure this is 0 0.20 inches then I punch out a series of discs 0.20 inches and 0.15 inches that way uh, there's a, the gap between them. I take a heavy sanding grit stick and I'll round the ends on the sprue until I get a nice dome shape that I want and then finish it off with a finer grit. I'll do both ends that way when I get my motor box out and set it over here I'll just set it in the motor box cut it off just below the edge of the dome leaving just maybe a millimeter or two is all you need left. I cut those off. Those are my ends. Then I layer the smaller the smaller disc between the upper or the larger disc and I keep doing that till I get about this one right here is about six layers. This one here is about seven layers. You start with the larger disc and end with a larger disc so it'll match up with your domes on each end. And when you're done, like I say, this is one of them. And when you're done, that's a smaller one, that's a larger one, and that's the way they look. Uh, then you can just drill little holes in and put a piece of wire or something in there for your oil inlets and exit and with this one I'm going to use just a piece of C channel to make a little bracket glue on the back of it to mount it on the firewall of the truck. Uh, once I've finished stacking all those discs though one thing I learned is to take a sanding stick like this while the glue's still wet and roll it to even out your layers. I'll show that in the video in the slideshow too, but uh, that's the way that you do it. It's quite simple. Uh, makes a really good looking one, especially when you paint it up silver and put a black wash in those fins to bring out the detail in those fins. It looks very realistic. For now, that's your little tutorial on how to make a uh, beehive oil filter for your hot rods. Those were very popular in the 50s. 60s on uh, a lot of the street rods uh, especially the ones with open engine compartments uh, that had the older car older engines like the old uh, Cadillacs and Chevrolets and uh, Fords and uh, like that that had the uh, external oil filter and have a screw on they had an external oil filter in the canister that you had to open the canister and put the filter in this just replaced the canister but it was more decorative and flashy. Uh, it was a sign of a quality street rod back in the day to have a beehive oil filter on your car. So, there you go. Thank you all very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.